Welcome back. Well, you know her well. Mm -hmm. She needs no introduction. The co-host of MSNBC's Morning Joe and the author of several New York Times bestsellers, Mika Brzezinski. But this morning, Mika is here to celebrate the unveiling of Forbes' second annual 50 over 50. M Mika's Know Your Value initiative collaborated with Forbes once again this year and curated a list of extraordinary women, rewriting the rules of success by breaking through age mm. and gender norms. Mika, good morning. Morning. She's on a mission. I, I I, I love are. this because yeah. the 50 over 50 list says, you know what? This is for people who reach their highest level. Yes. Who reach their career success after well 50. Well, after 50. We have women in their 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. No joke. Many of them. There were so many. We have four categories. We had to keep going last year. Entrepreneurship, lifestyle, impact, money. Wait, what does that tell Hoda's you? Hoda's on the list. Oh, well, I know. Well, Hoda's get, on the list. Well, get overall, into it. Overall, what does it tell you, though? Because I feel like... We are in a different moment. Yeah, women we, over 50 aren't, you know, winding it down. We have arrived. Yeah. That's yeah. the bottom line. Yeah. I mean, look, guys, we had people lying up uh -huh. to be on the list uh -huh. saying, and we're like, oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. You're 49. Yeah. You're too young. <laughs> I wanted you both to be on the list. And they were like, you're, Savannah just turned just 50. So, no, so no, Savannah, <laughs> amazing, nominates yeah. Hoda, showing yeah. like women now, we support each other. Of course. And we're so much stronger because of it. Mm -hmm. Everything has changed. You can have anything you want at any time in your life. And you're really the embodiment mm. of that. It's not just professional success, you can find happiness anytime you want. Mm -hmm. All of it. Hoda is, she is not the embodiment she is. of all of that inspiration. She refuses to read this beautiful article yeah, that please. you wrote I would about read her. It, I'm over so, 50 and I can't see it. So now we're going to read it to her. No. I just want to say, you no. said, Mika, it was in her 50s at 53, in fact, that Hoda became co-anchor of today. It was in her 50s that she became a new mother when she adopted two beautiful girls, Haley and Hope. And it is in her 50s that Hoda can now say, this is my best decade ever. Yeah. Ever. She is a message to every woman who always felt they weren't the one or that they would always be on the sidelines or that dreams of a family were out of reach. Mm. That's our Hoda. That That's is beautiful. what, Thank and you. we've known each other for decades, mm -hmm. and we've always <clears throat> felt like... It's passing us. It's on the sidelines. I and we that. always, I always wanted to represent women who felt like, ah, oh, it's never going to be me. Uh -huh. And women in their 60s, 70s, 80s. We have women in their 90s, mm -hmm. civil rights activists. Mm -hmm. We have chemical engineers, Nobel Prize winners, mm -hmm. women who are killing it. And they are well over 50. And it just doesn't matter. I think that's it. When you're over 50, there's a lot of stuff behind us, a lot of maturity, a lot of wiseness, a yeah. lot of com confidence. There's a word I can't use, actually. Yeah. Oh, I was but thinking of that same word. It ends with it. <laughs> yes. Um, and we just don't care, you yeah. know? And as a result, we can be good. We're not emotionally driven. We're not an emotion mind where you can think less. We're there. I think the cool thing about this list, because I actually remember this when I read it last year, when you actually see the embodiment of what you want to be, you believe it's possible. Yeah. I think it's like, wait, she did that when? She did that when? And I remember when I was thinking about adopting kids and it was later in life. Mm -hmm. Once I said it out loud, the only thing I could see were women my age adopting. I saw Sandra Bullock, and she was. I saw her with her. She's kids. on the list. She's on the list. She's doing amazing of things. Course. But it just shows you once you see it, it's like that whole see it, be it thing. Yes, yes. And I think that that's another reason why the list. And that's is so the thing. Important. We have Dolly Parton on the list. Martha mm -hmm. Stewart's on mm -hmm. the list. Uh, Bobby Brown's on the list. Oh, Chris Jenner's on yeah. the list. Um, there are women who just have no deadline. There's no deadline to anything yeah. anymore. We used to feel so rushed. I think Savannah, you and I over the years have talked about like how to how do you make this happen yeah. now? Yes. No now. Yeah. That's Okay, later. <laughs> yes, it's exactly it's okay. right. And when it happens, it's right on time. Oh, I really believe that. Yeah. I also like Mika that you are holding hands with the younger generation coming up, and that's what this is about too. It is. It isn't about competition yeah. between women. It's like how can we support each yeah. other and, yep. and and chart a different path. Mm -hmm. This is exactly for women in their 20s, 30s, and 40s. Mm -hmm. Women who feel like you've got to rush. You you need to have kids. Mm -hmm. You need to get married. You need to check the boxes mm -hmm. off. You've got to get this promotion because if you don't have this by then then you won't be like so and so you know what mm -hmm. you have such a long runway <laughs> yeah. you can yeah. calm down you can enjoy the moment because we didn't 
Yeah. We all did it yeah. different ways. I mean, yeah. you had your kids young, and you were and having this hard. meteoric network career. Yeah. And but then, it was so hard. It was hard, it was and you hard. did those trade-offs. Yes. We didn't. We we yeah. didn't have our kids. We, yeah. Not necessarily by choice. That's just yeah. how li our personal Life lives but worked it's okay. out. You still and then got we got them. to. So yeah. I let. That's what I love about this is that it is a reassurance for when you're in your 20s and 30s. I think those are the hardest years because yeah. you're like, am I, should I put my career first? Should right. I do my mm -hmm. family? Am I going to be able to do it all? Well. Yeah, you are, but maybe in your own timing and maybe not all at once, but your dreams can come true. All I believe of them. that. Every single one, and you have much <clears throat> more time than you, than you think. That is such a relief mm. for young women. We're like, preach, me, like, girl. girl. Hey, come on, girl. Sister, <laughs> take us to church. We love you. I Mika. love this. Thank you. Thank you, oh, thank you so much. Thank you, can you read very more much. about this year's 50 over 50 nominees. Read them all. It's going to be great. You uh, have to read the com. article oh, because Mika wrote they, something way, beautiful about yeah. you. Well, I put a piece, I'm going to put it up online, we're on Morning Joe. It is the best piece I've ever seen. You are an inspiration oh, to all women, and when you see this, you will cry. Thank you. I'm okay. already doing it. Yeah. Okay. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.